Hey everybody, it's your girl Neek here to do a Sephora haul for you. To be honest with you, I was going to put this up on my blog, but my computer has been going through it lately and uploading those pictures and all that was really just a little bit too much for me. So I'm going to do this video with the new YouTube app and we're going to see how it goes. We're going to learn this together and please excuse me, it's about... 10 30 at night i only got i think three hours of sleep full day of work then i had a couple after work cocktails as today is black friday i had to get all my shopping in both in person and virtual so that's why i seem a little bit tired if you're wondering why my e is low so let's just get right into this Okay, so before we get into it, let me just say this haul is from my last four or five trips to Sephora. So this has everything from Today Black Friday, VIB Topia, and all the little goodies that I've just gotten because of free shipping. So this is not definitely not one day or one trip's worth of stuff. This is at least three trips that I can think of. Okay, so the first thing we have here is something that I've actually had my eye on for a while and maybe it needs to be my 2014 beauty resolution. It is the Sephora Collection Glitter Liners. Um, they're in the impulse section, you know, when you're going to check out. And glitter liner is something that I wish I were better with or knew more about I'm going to have to do some more research but I picked those up during VIB Topia because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them and I didn't you know feel like that's something that I would be reaching for very often so I couldn't justify paying full price so I got that with my 20% off um, the next thing I got is the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and that's actually the palette that I use today to do my eyes and today's look that you're seeing right now I used Stash, Poison, and Strike. Strike is the highlight. I have Stash on the inner two-thirds of my lid and Poison on the outer one-third and I used the Urban Decay brushes to do all the blending and I can't wait to use this some more so Urban Decay Vice 2 palette I would suggest you get it if you don't have it yet or if you're thinking about getting it get it before it's sold out next thing I have is the Kat Von D tattoo locket foundation and am I wearing this today I'm actually not today I'm wearing Mac match masters i think honestly don't quote me like i said i only got three hours of sleep so what i'm saying may or may not be very accurate but on a daily basis the kat von d is the normal foundation that i use i'm in the color deep 74 shout out to kat von d for not forgetting about us brown girls i love the foundation if you use it you probably believe will need little to no concealer because it covers everything and I have a lot of acne scarring and it covers it all very well I was definitely surprised the first time I used it um also during B.I.B. Topia I got two NARS concealers and uh your girl's getting dark circles so I need something to cover them up so uh I got the Amande, I think that's how you say that, um, as a highlight. And I got Cafe, which is actually the same color as me. So one that's the same color as me and one that's one shade lighter for highlighting purposes. And I'm just obsessed with the NARS concealer. I actually do like the Smashbox concealer as well, but I just have a weird thing where I don't like to touch things. So the NARS concealer has that doe foot applicator so the less I have to touch uh, the better uh, so I'm just trying to keep it like that 
Next, which I'm sure you're all heard about, the NARS One Night Stand palette with all the following colors. We have Orgasm Deep Throat Goulet, I think that's how you say that, Devotee Misting Guet, the Bronzing Powder, and Laguna. I probably mispronounced some of that, but you know what it is oh here we go this and i'm actually into it it's the blush that i'm wearing today um i just mixed two of them not sure which two and uh i'm not really in the mood to find out so we're just gonna move right along when i went to actually get my first cma done i wanted to pick up the Kat Von D Book of Shadows and I saw that it was sold out online and I figured if this is such a cult favorite obviously I need to own it so I went it was sold out online but shout out to Sephora Brooklyn because they actually still had it in stock and I was able to get it I haven't used it yet but I'm definitely looking forward to using it um, what else do we have now this is a big one so I got the Sephora lash stash and I'm going to try to put in a picture of how the packaging looks because it's really cute if you know someone who's into makeup or anything like that I would actually suggest this as a gift it's about 45 or 50 dollars and you get a ton of mascara and a pair of false lashes here are the falsies they're Sephora brands of course and you get a full-size Sephora Outrageous Volume. And I would say this mascara actually kind of rivals Benefit They're Real. You get a full-size Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. I don't know how I feel like about that. I saw makeup doll I think it was just you know raving about it and I like it but I'm still trying to find something that's as good as or better than benefit their real and I'm starting to think that there is nothing better so I might just stop searching um it comes with a buxom blink and I actually really don't like this one I find that it made my lashes feel like brittle and I didn't enjoy the way it applied or anything like this so if you're thinking about buying this full size I would say start with this size test it out before you go get the full size what else do we have in here we have makeup forever which I don't think I've tried this one yet but I might have gotten it in sample also better than sex by Too Faced and I would say that that's the misnomer of the year because it's really not better than anything so definitely not sex um and we have the Lancome which one is this Hypnos Drama I actually do like this I think it's good for more volume than drugstore mascara but less volume than they're real then we have the YSL baby doll which some people love I just like we have Clinique again it's good could we all live without it yes and, of course, the mother of them all, they're real. I would suggest if you don't have this, you go get this. If you already have it, I would suggest you go get, the, get another one because, to me, this is the best thing. This should be called Better Than Sex. I don't know who's in charge of the naming or whatever, but this is my favorite. And today, when I was in Sephora for Black Friday... The girl actually said that she would suggest mixing 
their reel with Dior Show. And I don't have Dior Show yet, but um, one of my former co-workers and now good friend, shout out to Allison, actually um, has been telling me about it for a long, long time. So I'm thinking that I might actually uh, go ahead and get it. Um, a while ago, I got the... Oh, I got the Ocho Loco 2 pencils by um, Urban Decay. Here they are. And I'm actually going to try to put in, like I said, pictures of the packaging. But the colors are Twice Baked, which is a brown perversion, our favorite black. Um... The color Roach, which really doesn't show up on my waterline. I'm starting to think it might be good um, as a base. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research. Ultraviolet. I'm obsessed with this. But, I mean, there are really a few things that I'm not obsessed with. Um, Crave. I would say if you ever run out of perversion, this can be a good stand-in until you replace your perversion. Mars. This is the best green eye pencil. Quote me on that. Tornado. I love this because I feel like you can make it more dramatic or less dramatic depending on um, what you do with the rest of your eyes. So I love that. And uh, Deep End. I love it just because it's a bright color and who doesn't like bright colors you know when we have basically no daylight during this time of year oh and you also get a um, sharpener and I did not know that this sharpener by itself is normally about eight or ten dollars and I don't know who they think is paying that price but it certainly is not me so I would say if you are a fan of these Urban Decay eye pencils, go pick it up because it's about $59 for eight full-size pencils and the sharpener. And if you do the math on that, one of these pencils is usually about $19 or $20. So multiply that by eight plus this, you're basically getting four pencils for free. Then... I got, oh, this is heavy. This is actually from today. I got Purity for, you see my $10 sticker, for Black Friday. And I've actually never used any of these products, but I've heard good things. So um, it was 10 bucks, and I said, you know, why not? I got the perfume I've been wearing lately in a rollable. This is Escada Cherry in the Air because... I like to smell like candy. I mean, who doesn't? I got in Anastasia, as the girl corrected me, because I called it Anastasia. She called it Anastasia in the store, so I'm guessing it's Anastasia or Anastasia. I mean, whatever your juice is as far as that goes. But I got the brow pencil. They used this on me when I got my makeup done. Um, right now on my brows, I have... Spiked by Mac, I want to say, and I wanted to try something new just because I'm boycotting Macy's because of the whole Barney's racial profiling thing. So I can't go in there to the Mac counter to get my brow pencil. So I need to do something. So that's what I'm doing. I got this Better Than Sex and ooh, uh, eye pencil thing. It was also ten dollars. I'm actually gonna give this. So my sister is just, you know, the holidays and I felt like giving today. And then I got a Boshia mask. This was also $10. Um, and the Boshia products are usually about at least $20. So I got $10 thing for Black Friday today. Then what else do we have? This... VIB Rouge. I decided that I wanted to be VIB Rouge and I put my mind to it and I'm now VIB Rouge. 
again, as we discussed earlier, I just have an obsession with certain random things, and this is one of them. I think the biggest benefit is that you get free shipping for a year. So I can literally go on, find the cheapest thing on the website. It can be a $2.99 on sale nail polish and say, you know what? I don't feel like going over there on my lunch break. They're going to ship it to me and they'll ship it to me for free. I mean, who wouldn't want that? It also came with a little mini lipstick by Bite. Um, I'm not actually familiar with this brand, but I've heard great things so we'll see how that goes and it's just you know information about the program and all the benefits um eye cream this is the murad instant radiance eye cream i got this in a sample or with the points or something about like a few months ago early this year and I was really into it. And then I thought it was a really tiny jar that you would get. So I couldn't see myself spending like $60 on it. But I went in store and I realized that you actually get a lot of product. So as I try to unscrew this and not ruin this video, see how much you get? Like I'm not going to have to buy this for... A very long time so I got that also during VIB topia I think I got well this is for sure I got the these tweezers because I find that now that since I've been getting my eyebrows threaded you definitely need something to touch it up when you have these Stray hair is coming back, but you're not ready to get them threaded again. And this tweezer, do you see this point? I mean, it gets in there. So I would definitely recommend this. I think these are like $20, I want to say, full price. But I got it during VIB Topia. Also, I have been watching All Things Fabulous, and she sometimes uses a white eyeliner. And then I was like, well, she always looks beat, so obviously I need a white eyeliner. So I went to Sephora, and I picked up this. It's Yayo is the color. Comment and let me know the proper pronunciation. Um, but I don't know. It just... It hasn't moved me. I'm going to keep trying to work with it because I feel like it's something that could be amazing or well, not amazing. Let's not be hyperbolic. It's Friday night. I think it could be useful. So um, I got that. Also, I picked up um, a Smashbox lip gloss in Fame. And I love this lip gloss because if you want just a hint of color but not all that drama um this is good you can put like a sheer pink lipstick or something on and then put this over and in pictures it just looks very natural like not too made up not anything i actually um wore this to my friend's wedding last year so shout out to them up in vermont and Finally, I think, um, I got the Too Faced Editors set. I think that's what it's called, a beauty blogger's favorites. I don't know. Um, and it's a Too Faced uh, shadow insurance, a lip insurance, which I'm, the jury of me is still out on this stuff. Um, it's uh, the primed and poreless and this actually reminds me of the um benefit one or you know the ones I mean it reminds me of the other one <laughs> the other primer um oh the pores no more it reminds me of that so I think they're about the same I've been trying to find a difference I haven't really been able to find a difference so um I give this a thumbs up for now. Um, this Glamour Gloss, I'm not a fan. I mean, this is tiny, but um, I definitely 
wouldn't say that you needed to go and uh, buy a full size. Um, also, Too Faced Lash Gasm, again, it's not their real. It's not um, this. So, I would skip it if I was deciding what to buy. Um, full size. Look at this brush. I think this is a close runner up to their real. Um, but I haven't tried Dior show yet. So when I try that, we're actually going to have a more fruitful discussion. And I guess last but not least, I can't forget this. The limited edition artists created blah 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 you know all that bag for Sephora Brooklyn because Brooklyn we just got our first uh Sephora is downtown on Jeralaman and Court. So uh when they opened they were um giving these out with uh purchase so we have that and I believe that's all for my haul. And uh, I'll see you ladies soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you're wondering about my hair, um, this is uh, Genesis Virgin Hair. It's Peruvian 141618 on a U part. Um, I didn't seal the webs of the 18 because I didn't have anything to seal it with. And this thing is shedding like a stray dog with alopecia. It's getting on the last good nerve that I have. Um, but that's another rant for another day. And on my lips, oh yes, on my lips, I have, if you care, again, I don't know if you do, um, this Tarte little mini crayon that I got, it's moody, and then I have another Smashbox gloss in electric on top of it, and um, that's been keeping me uh, glossy and keeping me cherry lips, team cherry lips looking flawless all day. So, uh, that's my haul. Hope you like it. Um, comment below, reply, and all that good stuff, and let me know about what you got. Can't wait to see it. Bye.